The weather's looking very, very good this year for, for the smaller boats. It's wonderful that so many people enjoy the race. We've got the maxis that capture the imagination. We've got the old timber boats that people are excited about. But I love it because I'm a Hobart boy and it was always the quickest way for me to get home to see mum and dad when I was a kid. And this year's kind of special because my brother and my sister, Lisa, and my brother Andrew are sailing with us. So real family affair for this, uh, this event, the 70th edition. You look at all the people here today and by the middle of this afternoon we'll be on our own, peace and quiet. You know, and I, I, there's some five, six thousand yachties heading off to Hobart in, in this great race. All of these crews are united in their desire to win the coveted Tattersall's Cup, awarded to the overall handicap winner. I believe our odds have gone from 18 to 1 to 12 to 1 to 7 to 1. So if you've got a dollar, you might get seven back on the Wild Rose. <laughs> the Rolex Sydney Hobart encapsulates many values. The Corinthian ideals of sailing, to the notoriously unpredictable conditions, and the pure challenge of ocean racing. I think that's the, the fantastic thing about sailing is that it's so challenging physically, mentally and you have to persevere and deal with what, you, you, what is dealt with you by the weather, the sea state and I think that's you, you come together as a team and it's the crew work and as we say it's not what happens to you during the race, it's what you do about it. Today has been one of the biggest days I think I've ever had in ocean racing. And of course we were stressing because we think we might have done well in the race. I mean a lot of fun and it's just wonderful getting here. 117 contenders but just one winner. When I spoke to you the other day I said I'm not a gambling man but I'd back myself. Emerging from an impressive international fleet, the outstanding 29 year old Wild Rose, a winner 21 years ago as Wild Oats. A momentous achievement for 38 race veteran Roger Hickman and his outstanding crew, which included six female sailors and three family members. Uh, Peter and I have been struggling for a total of 66 years, just the two of us, in Rolex Sydney to about 60 years, and we look at these young newbies and think, <laughs> You know, why do they think it's so easy? <laughs> and Sam, Sam, of course, it was her, she's just turned 18. She said to her dad, do I need to come again or is this all there is? <laughs> Winner of the 2014 Rolex Sydney Hobart is Wild Rose. <laughs>